So today I'm here to teach you how to import 3D objects into DaVinci Resolve and use them on your clip. Today I'm going to teach you how to import the 3D objects, the types of objects that you can import, and one of the most important things is where to get those 3D objects for free. So if you stick to the end, I will tell you that also. So let's jump in the computer and let me show you how to do it. So here we are inside of the edit page of DaVinci Resolve and let me show you a short clip that I created using a 3D object that I imported, in this case a 3D car. So let's play it. And it's a simple presentation for the new Audi R8 that I made and here we have it. So this car is imported from a place that is free that I will tell you later in the video. Let's see how you can import 3D objects into Fusion. Let's create a new Fusion composition. Right click, new Fusion composition. Let's give it a name, 3D test, create. Let's go into the 3D text. And now we have, we are inside of the Fusion page and we have our media out. And as I said in my previous videos, every time you need to work in 3D space, you have to add a render 3D Come here to the render 3D, enable the lighting and the shadows, and let's change this to hardware render. Let's add a merge 3D to merge all the 3D nodes that you're gonna use. Let's add our camera, and let's give also a spotlight. Let's put this in the viewer one. Let me rotate it. Let's move this, the light back over here, and the camera also over here move it back now let's import the 3d object so how to import it's very easy come here to the menu over here and come here to the fusion tab and come here where it says import and select fbx scene you will be allowed to import other formats than fbx you, if you can come here you will see all the formats that you can import or are all of this. I usually import or FBX or OBG files. So let's start with an object. So let's come here to the table. Let's choose the OBG one and here it is. Let's open it. This will appear that it will allow you to choose whatever you want. Put it OK and this will appear. Let's select this. Let's connect this to our Merge 3D and of you see this one, this media two is not available. It's red. So let's delete this one. And now we have our table over here. I know that that uh, media two is this file over here. So let's connect it over here. As you can see, immediately it changed. So this is too big. So let's resize this. Come here to the transform and resize this a little bit or a lot. So now it's something like this. So let's move our camera up. Let's come here to the camera. Let me rotate it a little bit down to see. Do the same here to the light. So here we have the light. Let's come here to the light. Let's put it here too. And let me move the camera a little bit down. So as you can see, we have our table and this is uh, a glass as you can see it's not transparent so you come here to the wood the table glass this is well identified so it's the wood table and the glass come here to the wood table glass over here this one and come here to the opacity and reduce the opacity and now you start to see through the glass so as you can see it's very easy but this one is a little bit simple and you can import multiple objects. For example, let's add another one. So let's click here, do the same fusion, import FBX. Let's go back. Let me come here and select another one. For example, this one, open it and do the same open and immediately it appears over here. And let's add over. This one doesn't come with the transform. So let's select here, shift space and add a transform 3D. And let's connect this to our merge. And now if we zoom out, you can see that it's gigantic also. So let's reduce the size 
a lot. So let me see something. It's too big, right? right two five. Now it's too still too big. Okay. So now let's go to the also the key to the X and Y. So let's give it, let's put it over here. And now you can also adjust here this color. So this is the the seat. You can come here and change the color to something like this. And you can come here. And since these are the legs, we have here a, a texture that you can connect. If I connect it, look to the texture, you will notice you see the difference. Let me zoom this out a little bit. So if I disconnect it over here, look to the difference. And if I connect it, it shows this. So as you can see, it's very easy to import. You can add this if you come here to the edit page and add our 3D text. We have it right here and it's in the clip. So you can add this to your videos. Now let's add something more uh, refined, something a little bit more complicated. So let's add our car that I've shown you before. So let's go to the 3D text. Let's delete all this except for the transform node. I'm going to resize this a little bit and I'm going to uh, come here and fusion import FBX. And let's come here to the R8. And OK, and immediately you see this is a little bit more complex. It has a lot of nodes. So let's zoom this. Let's put it over here, connect it and let's zoom this out and the car is too big. So let's zoom this out. Let's go to the camera and come here to the Z and let's move the camera back and come to you to the transform. Let's resize this a lot because it's too big. So let's resize this. So let's rotate it 90 degrees over here. Let's put our camera back and up and the light. Do the same. And back now, as you can see, let's put a little bit more. Everything is gray, so the car, all the parts are gray. But as you can see over here, everything is well identified. As you can see, interior, logo, metal, glass, uh, body, color, body mat, everything is well identified and you can come here. And this one, these two nodes are aluminum, as you can see. So we come here to the aluminum and you can add it, connect it to here and to here and everything. Now you notice that this change, look. So you can come here and for example, and change the color also if you don't want that looks like aluminum. So, and you can do it like this and it will give the texture of the aluminum, but with that color, so black. So let's change this to black. Also black matte. So let's change it to black. Let's come here, body color. You can come here and change to the color you want that you, let's put it red as I use it. Something like this one. Chrome, it's gray, it's okay. I'm gonna leave that also glass. So this is the glass. We can change the color over here for something like, or like this color. And as you can see, change over here and let's reduce the opacity. So it will be a little bit more transparent. Glass projector also. Let reduce a little bit here, the opacity, leave that glass window, so it's the windows, so we can change it for something darker. And let's reduce the opacity. And now, as you can see, we have a tinted windows, but you can also even darken it a little bit more. So it gives that tint. The grill is the front grill. Let me come here to the transform. Let me 
rotate the car like this so we can see grill mat so you can come here and change the color of the grill so you can adjust it like this or let's see if we have something we don't have any texture here but you can import the texture and use it interior so i know this is the color of the interior not the seat so i want it to be like this dark almost black and i want this one is the seats to be red as the color of the car and this is the roof i want it to be black also so let's come here light bed so let's come here and change it to something like this and reduce also the opacity logo red as its name said it will be red metal one i think this is the brakes calipers so let's put it to red yes that and i know this one is the the disc brakes so i want it to be something like this one the rims i want it to be dark something like this and over here the tail light red so as it the name says it will be red and i want to reduce a little bit of the opacity trim mat it's going to be this over here so i want it to be something like here like darker and the tire i want it to be black now let's come here where it's in the first this one i don't know this one you can adjust here look you can adjust the color to fit the other thing so as you can see let me come here that there. let's give it a little bit more opacity over here and over here so here here we have as you can see our car define everything and let's go to the transform node now we can rotate the car and see everything look so we have everything and if we zoom in look the r8 and the body give it a little more strength as you can see everything over here so let me see so just everything like this so now you can see that the lights red so now it's done and it's easy just can put it over here so you come here and you can put it over here and now we have it here and you can animate it and add those colors and all the effects and all the movements that you want you can adjust the lights the camera everything so where can you download this file so there's a place called cg trader that it's a website over here that you can download all of these clips so you can come here and we have here the where what you want so if you want a car a bike or a house something like that the format you can put all the formats and the most important button is this one if you want to select this you will see a lot of things but as you can see it has its price so you come here and click the free it only will show you the free let's look for that the car the, so let's car select car and let's go to the free versions and here we have the audi r8 that i showed you so you can download it and use of course you can download everything like this so so only cars you have 51 pages of free cars so everything in here is free as you can see free 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 everything is free and on the left corner you will see the formats that are available so this one obj fbx so we have all of these formats available so this one is only blend and fbx and this one is blend obg and fbx so we have everything in this some of them include the textures some of them doesn't include it some of them are more complicated with a lot of uh, nodes other ones are more um, simple with the, the final result being just one node but you have to choose the ones that you need and the ones that suits you better so as you can see 
we have a lot of options over here and you can put them in your video as you can see. So as you could see, it's easy and it's amazing because we have all of that objects that you can include in our video. So I hope this information was helpful and I hope you learned something today. And if yes, don't forget, hit that like button that helps a lot. Subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and hit that notification bell to be notified next time I launch a video. Until then, bye.